Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. I know that's a very popular visual to talk about when it comes to 2020, that it's been a bit of a dumpster fire. And it's, it's, listen, it wouldn't be right to say that it hasn't. I mean, there's been a lot of things. There's obviously been, you know, politics and pandemics and loss of job, loss of freedom to be able to see loved ones and to hang out delays. I mean, there's been a lot of things that have stacked up against this year. For me, what I thought it was important to do was to step back for a moment. And although there's been a lot of negative things and bad things, can't deny that this year, there's also been some really great things. And, and a part of my own psyche is to very often take some mental notes of those. Because if I look back on 2020, do I really want to say, well, this was the year that time forgot? that it's one of these things that I never want to revisit, nothing that happened was any good, and of course that's not the case at all. A part of that is mindset, and a part of that is just reflecting. So this is a bit of a bond year in review. Now, I had to think about how do I do a bond year in review that fits within a, a few minutes without having it become too long. I mean, I thought at first, do I start with Toronto when we traveled for Operation uh, snowfall, which was fantastic, and the world was full of hope, and the Bond community was filled with hope. Hope that we would be seeing a film in April. And, well, we know what happened with that trajectory. And, you know, there was a lot of discussion and reaction videos about the first delay. We don't have to recount them here, but reaction videos seemed like they were the call of the day. Everybody was doing them. The only thing rarer than a reaction video was someone not doing a reaction video. And, and why not? I mean, we had tickets planned. We had events planned. This was things that were going to bolster not just our hobby, but our friendship, our connection to the best thing about the Bond community, which is the people. Of course it is. It's not just the movies and a franchise. It's about the people. And suddenly it looked like our plans were going to go amiss on that. But something happened, as does often in the Bond community, because we are a very tenacious, very stubborn, very resourceful group, just like Bond. And we said, well, you know something, if we cannot gather in person, we're going to gather online. So we created these operations. And Probably some of you have attended them, but online operations with celebrities, guest stars, different discussions, different themes. They were all over the board and these, these operation stay at home type of moments really grew and grew. And, and smaller ones, not just the big ones, grew as well. People started to do their own small Zoom meetings, started to explode, quizzes, etc. It took on a life of its own. own. And suddenly, this whole idea of staying at home didn't stop us from making new friends, from connecting and yes, escaping through the world of Bond. We did it. Hell, we were even hacked by a hacker on one of the ones that I hosted and we were able to help the FBI track down some of the individuals involved, which is, I mean, what an amazing thing to see that type of justice come to life. So our fortitude is something that I'm going to celebrate for all time. And 2020 pushed us into that realm. The other thing that we did was because, let's face it, no time to die. We've got plenty of time. So we created the hashtag Fleming Reading Challenge and the Bond Book Club was born. Yes, it was, where we read a book about every month, we get together, we talk about it. And why? Well, because it's fun. You know, we, we, we critique things through celebration of the Bond franchise. Me, I haven't read the books in ages. It got me reading again. It got other people reading. It got some people reading Fleming for the first time and, and celebrating his works and the basis, the foundation for James Bond. That was huge. You know, one of the things that is really you can't dispute is during a pandemic, any pandemic, being healthy, being fit, is part of staving off any of the comorbidities, any of the side effects that you could get if, God forbid, you get sick in this pandemic. Well, part of that is the Bond 25 Fitness Challenge. We continued it, but we actually raised the game. We had a, a lot of people who have expertise 
in fitness, come out of the woodwork and help us and connect with us, teach us about diet and fitness and health and, and mental well-being, which is so important when you're embarking on these types of journeys that hopefully are lifelong. I've seen the transformation of people from bad habits to great habits to a fitness level that is unbelievable, that they thought they could never achieve. And what was the motivator? Yeah, it was bond, but it was a group motivation. This hashtag motivated people to maybe eat one less donut and maybe do one more push-up. That wouldn't have happened with such a crescendo if it wasn't for 2020. And I want to celebrate that. The other thing that um, I decided to do was really pay homage to the amazing artists. You know, we saw fan artists and professional artists do some of their best work in 2020. And so I started this interview process where I highlighted some of the ones where I've actually owned some of their work. And they're, they're a wonderful mix of different genres and themes and, and medias and unbelievable. They're, they're some of my favorite discussions. We also did an incredible amount of interviews um, and not just celebrity interviews, we have a few of those, but of course, interviews with people in the Bond community. And why? Because it was important to broaden the Bond community. It's not just a few people, you know, it's not just this channel or a handful of YouTube channels or Instagrammers, no. The, the content creation, these creative content creators, say that 19 times quick, uh, have just blossomed. I mean, so many people, and people realized in 2020, you don't need to be anointed or bequeathed or knighted to be a content creator. You don't need anything. What you do need is passion. You need to have consistency and passion to do that and to celebrate Bond. That happened in 2020. We reviewed a lot of things. We critiqued a lot of things. We had debates. Galore. I mean, you know, I've gone head to head with some of my best friends, which have made me even better friends with them, closer. We've, we've united and bonded as, as brothers and sisters and arms. And that has come through just looking back on the films and even revisiting, yes, ones that maybe we didn't have a lot of heart for. And suddenly, during this time in 2020, we are looking at things with new eyes, new eyes that just see things in a different way. We also talked about lifestyle and brands. Oh my gosh, you know, one of the things that people said was, David, why didn't you have, why didn't you have a holiday or Christmas gift video? You have one every year. Well, that's because my channel is, is essentially that all year round. I mean, every single week, every single week, I talked about different brands, different items, good, bad, ugly, the whole nine yards. And we explored them together and we laughed and we cajoled and we pointed. And by the way, it wasn't important that everybody agreed with them or loved them or collected them. It was that we explored them together and you can make your own, yes, imagine that, your own opinion on whether you like those things or not. And boy, No Time to Die was a big concentration, which is why I'm all kitted out in my favorite jacket uh, for that. So it's one of these things that we gravitated to and Let's face it, I get it. My channel, the Sartorial Brand Marketing Merchandise Channel with uh, a peppering of other things, and I'm okay with that. You know, unfortunately, in 2020, we had another celebration of sorts. It wasn't just about brands and debates and films and books and fitness. Of course it was, and it was about celebrating people's lives only after they passed away. And we've had unfortunately a lot and it seems like a lot and maybe it just is a lot of bond alumni pass away this year we've had the artists you know the background people you know names that that everyday people wouldn't know but <laughs> they're like family to us many many of you called them friends many of you have you know spoken to them and been with them and they've they've inspired you they've raised your game you know we've had people like honor blackman and of course, you know, the one that just became seismic this year is Sean Connery. To me, will always be that definition, that textbook definition of who is Bond, it's Sean Connery. Everybody else is trying to achieve that level, but Sean Connery brought it. 
and unfortunately he passed away. Now, unbelievably sad, but if you look back at some of the discussions that we all had around these individuals, it was a bit of a celebration. You know, we talked about their works of life. We talked about what they meant to us, how they inspired us, motivated us, what they do to lift us in the darkest moments. I don't know if we would have done that with these individuals that passed if unfortunately they hadn't passed. It's that horror, if you will, of just focusing on people once they're gone and it's too late. And that's the last thing I want to talk about with this video in 2020. We're very fortunate. And I'm not saying that this was a year of great things, but there have been times when you and I, if you're watching this, could celebrate and have fun and just enjoy a franchise and enjoy each other. But there were probably and are probably people out there that couldn't and can't because maybe something that happened this year or before this year, maybe they haven't been able to recover. Maybe it's not just about physical, maybe it's psychological. And during these holiday times, we really need to think about those individuals, the people that haven't been vocal like this, that haven't had an outlet, that don't use the bond community and each other like therapy because they're in a very dark place. So here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. Beyond trying to reflect back on 2020 with some positive views of the year and not just the dumpster fire, I'd like you to reach out. Those friends in the bond community and outside the bond community, those loved ones, those family members that maybe have gone a bit quiet. You know, maybe you haven't heard from them lately, or maybe you know that they're suffering in some way, physically or mentally, reach out to them. You know, the whole idea of, well, they haven't called me, the phone works both ways, that attitude has to stop. And this time when we're giving physical things and surrounded by the trappings of items, let's think about the best gift that we can give people, which is our company, our conversation, and our support. Call them, reach out to them. It's something that we can all do. It's free, it doesn't cost us anything, but it's so important. So, as I look back on 2020, I think about not just what I've been able to affect and the people I've connected with, but the people looking forward to 2021 that I wanna make sure that I support and connect with. All right, listen, I am so grateful that you have followed this channel and all my channels throughout this year. Your comments, whether you agree with me or disagree with me, uh, they've been so important. I've enjoyed them all. You've made me laugh. You've made me think. You've made me get emotional. You've been there for me as well. This is a very reciprocal experience that we've created together. And I wanna take a moment to thank you, but also to let you know that I am so excited about 2021, where we're gonna do the most amazing things. We're gonna get back to life as we knew it and better. I can promise you that. This has been David Zaretsky for The Bond Experience. Enjoy the last few minutes of 2020, because here comes 2021, and I'll see you real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.